Hey guys, welcome back to RFCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. This is our second game of our doubleheader tonight. Number 7, Cal Poly, taking on the Idaho State Bengals in Pac-10 play. Mustangs 5-1 and one on the season, riding a four-game winning streak. Idaho State is 2-4, and four, and they are on a two-game losing streak. So, a little bit rough for them. But we are going to see what we can do in the final game of week nine. Let me share this in the Discord. Slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below if you have any interest in becoming a college football player on the good old tube of you. All right, we are shared in the Discord. And we should be Gucci. Let me get this graphic off the screen. There's the matchup. Mustangs, 26th ranked offense in the country, 3rd ranked defense, and Idaho State actually has the 8th best pass defense, so that is actually pretty impressive for the Bengals. Don't sleep on them, don't do it, let's get it. And of course after the game we'll be taking a look at the nation, the new top 25 And, you know, the Heisman, all that fun stuff. What playbook was I using? West Virginia, that's what it was. Who's in the chat? Who we got? Who we got? The Eggonator. What's up? Jay Washington in the chat. And Chaos Driven, my brother. What's up? Hopefully this is another crazy Pac-10 game. Because I've been enjoying them. Audrey in the chat. What's going on? Slim Chris in the chat as well. Again, welcome to the Discord, Chris. If you have any questions in there, just uh, just tag the community staff. I think we got about six or seven staff members. And, you know, they should all know most of the answers to any question you have. And we're going to kick it off first. And Mason boots it. And there is a lot of wind here tonight. Jackson up to the 29-yard line. Let's take a look at the Cal Poly defense. Led by Demarius Lamache at the end. Greg Ford and Paxton Erdley at defensive tackle. Jay Washington at outside linebacker. Joseph Lozano at corner. And All-American free safety, Ralph William, number 42. And they're going to start it off on the ground. Jackson picks up one yard. We have some cool members in the Discord. Yes, sir. A lot of cool people in there. All right, second down and nine. Pass that's picked off by Harris, and it's a big start for the Mustangs. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Let's go. What a beautiful play. Not the start the Bengals wanted to see. Twenty-seven mile an hour winds, and we are kicking against it right now. All right, back out on defense we go. Oh, Jay, you just got leveled. Uh oh, he's gone. Samuel for six. Oh, wow. Two games in a row, we've seen returns for touchdowns. Best defense in the land? I mean, one of the best. Special teams could use some work. Obviously. All 
right, maybe we'll take a look at the offense now, I guess. <laughs> Malik Higgins on for the return. And Higgins dropped it to the 23-yard line. So let's take a look at that Cal Poly offense, led by DeAndre Guerin tonight. The true freshman is getting a start over Alexander Connor, the junior. In the backfield, Raul Lozano's a third, and Kanji Jones, number 36. Receiving cores, Malik Higgins, Desmond Lewis, and Dakota Edwards. And long snapper and tight ends, Tom Schaefer. Tight end, Tyler Chandler. And left guard is Dan Williamson. And here is Lozano getting it up past the 40-yard line. Let's go. Let's sling it. See what the freshman can do. Why do we only have two viewers? Is it something I said? Throw it up. Desmond Lewis. Oh, he dropped it. The junior lets it slip through his hands. All right, let's get him with the option. Let's go, Garen. Pitches it out. And Lozano with a nice cutback. Lozano still going. Breaking tackles left and right up to the 26. Let's go. Beautiful run by the junior halfback. Oh, my goodness. Tom Schaefer in the chat. What's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Hoping Edwards is going to be open in the seam on the right. And he is not. And oh, what a throw to Lewis. Oh, my goodness. He's got a rocket for an arm. I thought that was going to be picked. Breakaway speedy boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, first down and 10. Garen bottled up. He's going to be sacked. My goodness. All right. Second down and 12. All right. Let's do this. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Right Tackle. I would like to buy a vowel, please, and a block. That's a third down and 19. Third best team in the country on third downs, though. 56% conversion rate. This is a long one, though. Third and 19. we got to get to the one-yard line. And Edwards lays out for it at the six-yard line. What a catch. Just short of the sticks. But we'll kick a field goal. We'll take it. Tom Schaefer on for the long snap. Garen on for the hold, and Alexander is set to kick the 23-yard field goal against 25-mile-an-hour wins. And it is up, and it's good. 10-7, Mustangs on top. Yeah, that was a beautiful catch by Edwards. out here on special teams. He got leveled and so did the return man. Let's go. Back out on defense. Stadium pulse is not very high at Cal Poly. Stadium is on the smaller side. And there's the sack. Let's go. Who got him? That was Franklin. Non-subscriber defensive end. Second down and 15. Oh my goodness gracious. How do you defend that? It'd be nice if he didn't just put his hands in the air for a split second. You know, possibly went to deflect the ball like I told him to by hitting L1. That is to swap the ball down. Come on. Yeah, 
Handed off, and Jackson is leveled, and he is broken. Get him a body bag. Second down to 11. Let's go nickel. Keep it on the ground. Oh my goodness, what a hit! And Ford has the fumble recovery. I don't even know who forced it. That play happened so fast. And they don't even take a look at the replay. What are you talking about? Ooh! And that was Jones, non subscriber linebacker. Sit down! That was just beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Man, what a hit. First down and 10 for the freshman quarterback, DeAndre Guerin, in his first career start at Cal Poly. The first of many. Guerin, nice pitch out to Lozano, who's going to get it up to the 30 yard line. First down. Season one thumbnail, it sure would have been. We had some pretty fire thumbnails in season one with the screenshots. I liked them. Oh boy. Throw it out to the fullback. Oh my goodness, he is a fast fullback. Picks up eight yards. Let's go. Eight yard pickup. Jackson just had the wind knocked out of him. He will return. Yeah, let's see what we can do here with Garen. We're just going to get the first down. Up to the 16-yard line. Just 73% in the red zone this season. It's been a struggle, to say the least. Nobody got that block for me. I'm scared. Edwards has it. Touchdown, Cal Poly Mustangs. Let's go. Had a spectacular diving catch on the last drive and now punches it in for the touchdown. You love to see it. You do. Extra point up and good. It's 17 to 7 here in San Luis Obispo, California. Minute oh, yeah, minute oh seven. 107 <laughs> left on the clock. I mean, I guess I was right the way I said it. I'm not wrong. Well, this wind is wrong. Insane out here. That's tackled by O'Donnell. All right, defense. Let's get it. Try to throw it. Deep shot. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And why, when I'm hitting the L1 button to deflect the pass, would my All-American free safety go for a one-handed interception? What tarnation is that? That's a feels bad. Bennett, two of three, 77 yards and a pick. My goodness. See if they'll give it off to Jackson, who's back in the ball game. Oh no, he's not. That's actually Mangum. And Lozano almost has the pick. Be buddy forever in the chat. When am I going to do computer versus computer? Uh, when two of our schools are facing each other. That is the only time that we do that. We have 12 schools that we use their in this series. 
Bryant Bulldogs, Cal Poly Mustangs, the Dayton Flyers, Jacksonville Dolphins, North Dakota State Bison, Northern Colorado Bears, the San Diego Toreros, Savannah State Tigers, Southern Utah Thunderbirds, uh, South Dakota State Jackrabbits, UC Davis Aggies, and the VMI Cadets as we do get to stop there. 34-yard field goal attempt. They do have a ridiculous amount of wind at their backs. And the kick is up, and he's got it. He could have made it from, I don't know, his own 10-yard line. The wind is insane. 17-10 to 10 now. One touchdown ball game. Kick is to the seven yard line. Desmond Lewis on for the return, dropped at the 23. All right, let's keep it on the ground here with Lozano. Get the ground game popping. I did not spin, I hit the X button. Feels bad. Well, we are going to let that end the first quarter. Mustangs on top, 17-10 to over the Idaho State Bengals in Pac-10 action. A couple of good games so far tonight. Be a decent way to end Week 9. And Garen, oh no, he fumbled! And Lozano's going to recover it. Heads up play by the junior halfback. All right, third down and five. A little play action. Fullback. Oh, he dropped it. No, say it ain't so. Mason on for the punt. We do have the wind at our backs now, so that should help out. I will try not to give him the football, though. Oh, what a kick. What a kick. Let's go. Out of bounds at the 17 or 18 yard line. Let's go. Special teams for the win, baby. Don't forget to slap that like button, guys, if you have not already. Appreciate you. Subscribe if you're new. And join the Discord community. And Tom Schaefer just posted the link too. Oh, I missed that one. Nice tackle. After a really nice catch. Gary666 in the chat. What's up, Gary? How you doing? Welcome. Oh, nice catch by Nicholson. He's out of bounds, but a great effort. Right, second down 10. We've got to get some more pressure on the quarterback. He's not getting enough right now. And he's a very talented guy. Quick pass left side. Nice deflection, and it's caught anyway by Nicholson. My goodness. They're down in five. For the Bengals, Bennett is 5 of 8, 104 yards, and a pick. Draw play, and William is going to get the stop. Fourth down and four, upcoming for the Bengals. And they're kicking it against 25-plus mile-an-hour wins. What playbook am I using? West Virginia. Oh, William almost gets the block. Man, we'll call for a fair catch. And, you know, as always, we'll see how close we were here. Oof. That's the closest Cal Pie has ever come to blocking a punt. Just a few yards off. All right, let's see what you got, Garen. We're going deep. Desmond Lewis. Off his back foot. Uh-oh. 
Oh, he almost caught it, too. That was just instant pressure off the left side. All right, second down at 10. And a quick strike to Malik Higgins. First down, Cal Poly. Who wants it? That was overthrown by a mile. Oh my goodness, that's a pick six for Marks. Wow. Unreal play. And that's going to tie it up. Other team wants it. Oh, did they miss that? They just missed the extra point. Mustang still on top, 17 to 16. Let's go. Wind playing a big factor here tonight. All right, Desmond, let's get it. I mean, no blocking, feels bad. Told you guys, don't sleep on Idaho State. Don't do it. No blocking again. Really unfortunate. Throw it up. Desmond Lewis, one-on-one, -on -one. he's got him beat, and he's got it at the 36-yard line, goes out of bounds. First down, Cal Poly, let's go, man. Nice throw by the freshman. Put it where only his guy could get to it. Immediate pressure. Garen's going to have to take off. He can run. DeAndre Garen down the sideline. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Let's go. The freshman showing some speed, baby. Extra point, up and good. It's an eight-point ball game now. He plays 82 yards, just 32 seconds off the clock for the Mustangs. And that kickoff goes out of the back of the end zone, courtesy of the 27-mile-an-hour wins. Go defense. Let's get it. Pass. Jackson destroyed. And I believe that's Jay Washington. Yes, it is. Sit down, son. Oh, my. Jackson is just getting punished <laughs> this game. Toss it out and throw it back to the quarterback and Bennett. Oh my goodness, he gets wrecked. Jones, his third tackle of the ball game. Or fifth tackle, rather. Wow. Why would you put your quarterback in that situation? That's what feels bad. Right. 
Shout out to Tom Schaefer for the super chat. Cal Poly number one, all others number two or less. <laughs> I like it. We're down to 10 for the Bengals. Quick strike over the middle, and they've got Gray for the first down of the 46. Wheaton, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? We get a stop here. Lamache in the zone at DN. Deep shot, one on one coverage, and incomplete overthrown. All right, let's get some pressure here. Let's blitz the outside linebackers. And Jackson is going to be denied. Jay Washington comes from the other side of the field to make the tackle. Third down and ten. And they're going to go deep. And nice deflection by the All-American Ralph William. Let's go. And they're going to punt it away from the uh, their own 47-yard line. Fair catch by Malik Higgins at the 16. All right, I do want to take a deep shot here. So we're going to go play action. And chuck it deep if Lewis has a step on the corner. Or we'll hand it to the fullback here. Oh my goodness, the fullback with a nice spin picks up six yards. Should redo the FCS tournament. I do want to do uh, some Division II schools. Lozano gets the carry. First down. 71 yards on six attempts for him. Yeah, I, I do plan on doing another tournament at some point. Because it was really fun last time. Deep shot, one-on-one, -on -one. Malik Higgins has him beat. Oh, he just missed him. Should have been a touchdown. That's a feels bad. Feels real bad. Wide open. Johnson up to the 45-yard line. Let's go no huddle here. He's got him beat. Malik Higgins. Oh, my goodness. He missed him again. We got to connect on that. Man, that is just unfortunate. How do we miss him twice on one drive like that? Let's get Tom Schaefer in motion to the left side here. Extra blocking. As we go with the option. Pitch it out. Lozano doesn't get any blocking downfield by the tight end, Tyler Chandler, for some reason. But a nice gain up to the 24. Play action. To the end zone, the back corner. Higgins, is that a touchdown? No, he couldn't get a foot in bounds. Oh my goodness. What do we got to do? game for Lozano. 
That'll bring up third down and 10 from the 24. Quick strike. Edwards has the first down. Nine seconds left. Call our first timeout. And let's go ISO. And Lozano gets loose. Touchdown, Cap Polly. Let's go. What a run by the junior. No way did I think he was going to get through there. But I'll take it. I surely will. I tell you what, man. I tell you what. With just six seconds left in the first half. Ten plays, 84 yards. What a drive for Cap Poly. You love the nay? That's right. I love the stadium sounds. Six seconds left in the first half. I actually bought um, the majority of these stadium sounds with donations from Tom Schaefer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. One second left. They're going to go with the Hail Mary now. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's up, Ron? From the 41. High snap for Bennett. And it's picked off by Ralph William. Let's go. The user interception. Give me that. Nice way to end the first half. Mustangs on top. 31 to 16 over the Idaho State Bengals. We get the ball to start the third as well. Let's go. All right, Malik Higgins from the four. And gets it up past the 25. A lot of offense for Cal Poly. 294 in that first half. Uh-oh. Momentum carried him all the way to the left side for some reason. I was trying to cut it back up the middle. Get some awkward animations with the quarterback sometimes. Take off. DeAndre Guerin. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, and they recover that. No way. What a hit. Unbelievable. I tap square for him to slide, and he dives headfirst into the corner. Oh, man. That's a feels bad. All right, defense, time to step it up. Quick pass deflected away. Second down and 10. All right, 29 yards for Jackson in the game, 105 for Lozano. Defense! Defense! 
Got to get some pressure with the linebackers. And Ralph William comes up and runs support and gets the stop for the Mustangs defense. Let's go. Hold them to a field goal. 36 yard attempt, but it is not a gimme. He's missed an extra point in the ball game. The wind is outrageous. And the field goal is good, so it's going to be 31 to 19 in the third quarter. Wind has been just insane in this game. All right, Malik Higgins set to return it from his own eight-yard line. And Higgins breaking a tackle, gets it up to the 30. And he is completely gassed right now, so let's try to get the ball somewhere else. Is Desmond Lewis up past the 45? Another laser beam of a throw from DeAndre Garrett. Seventy-seven yards on three catches for Desmond in the game. Throwing it up, Desmond Lewis one on one. He's got it. Down to the five-yard line. What a play as he goes over the century mark receiving. Wow. When in doubt, air it out. Let's go. First and goal from the five-yard line. Lozano gets it to the outside. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Great blocking from Desmond Lewis on the right side. And that's going to make it 38-19 with an extra point. Tom Schaefer with another perfect long snap right there. Nineteen point ball game. And Jay Washington just kind of extends his hands and punches Samuel to the ground. Awkward. All right, first and 10 from the 20. Bennett in the shotgun for the Bengals. Jackson to his left. Quick pass. It's picked off by Jones. He's having one heck of a game. And we're going to decline that, obviously. Five tackles and a pick for Jones. And this... Could get crazy here in the third. Right. And we're just going to take off. Andre Guerin. Touchdown, Cal Poly again. 24-yard touchdown run for the freshman quarterback. I believe that's his second touchdown run of the ball game. Oh, I could be wrong. Could be his first. I can't remember. Yeah, probably starting to pull away quite a bit now. Now 45-19. 
game was pretty close and starting to get out of hand here in the third quarter. 3.47 left. Let's get it, O'Donnell. Let's get him. Oh, I got leveled twice. Still waiting on a Jay Washington interception. Zero for his career. Good pass right side, out of bounds, incomplete. Bennett starting to fall apart now. 7 of 16, 135 yards and three interceptions, no touchdowns. Pass left side. Samuel, maybe a yard if they said he was in bounds, and they do. Third down and nine. Deep shot over the middle. And a huge hit from Ralph Williams. Sit down, son. How dare you test the middle of the field? What a vicious hit. And Malik Higgins set to return it. Might get a chance here, and he will only a yard or two. Oh boy, right tackle got pushed way back. Michael Marshall injured his elbow on the play for Idaho State. That's a feels bad. Stick around after the game. We'll be taking a look at the nation, the new top 25, the Heisman watch list, all that fun stuff. And here is Garen, and he won't pitch it, but he gets it up to the 30-yard line. 285 yards total for the freshman, three touchdowns in the game. It's now third down and five from 31. Fullback up the middle gets the first down. Allen is so fast. Right. Hopefully you crack the top ten. No, oh, you might. Even with two losses, you still might. Pass Lozano. Trying to stay in bounds and gets close to the marker. And second down and one. Elbow bursitis for Michael Marshall. Rub some dirt on it, young man. Don't be scared. And the fullback going to get another carry, and the Mustangs will move the chains again. 19 first downs in the game to Idaho State's five. Yeah, we'll definitely be taking a look at the Pac-10. San Diego was at the top of the Pac-10 last week. Well, this week, currently. Throwing it up. Desmond Lewis. Oh, nice deflection. Lewis had a step on him, too. Lozano, let's get it. Get to the outside. Nope. Hold on to it. Thank you.
Third down and nine. Cause an incompletion at your in real life football practice. Nice. Going left side. Higgins has the catch and the first down, I believe. Oh, they mark him short. Unbelievable. We do this. Fullback's gonna have the first down. He gets destroyed. But hangs on to the football. Alright, first down and ten. Tom Schaefer with the catch. Tom Schaefer with a touchdown for the long snapper. And that's the 50 burger, folks. What a throw from the freshman quarterback. Well, this was a good game at the start. First quarter and a half. First, first two quarters, really. Two to 19, that was a 10 play, 74 yard drive to 40 off the clock. All we need to make this a perfect game for Cal Poly is a Jay Washington interception. That would just be perfection. Right side, and Lewis will drag him out of bounds. So we can see him in the EFL as a legendary quarterback. DeAndre Guerin, is that who you're talking about? He's got a couple more years after this one, but I definitely can see him lacing him up in the Elite Football League. And nice catch for Samuel, beating Joseph Lozano. Go defense. And it's picked off. Jones has another one. And the linebacker is gone. Touchdown, Cal Poly. My guy, he's just playing out of his mind. He had his five tackles in the first half. And now he's just getting picks. He picked that at the line of scrimmage. My goodness. Unreal. The stampede out here, folks. Forty point ball game. Fifty nine nineteen. Get him. And nice force fumble from Edwards, the freshman receiver. Oh my goodness. Drive the dagger deep. I got you, Tom. I got you. We got wide receivers out here forcing fumbles on special teams. Let's get it. It's a rodeo and they didn't last eight seconds. Feels bad. Quick pass over the middle, 
And William almost forces the fumble on Gray. Get your fours up in the chat, guys. Number seven, Cal Poly on top, 59-19 over the Idaho State Bengals in Pac-10 play. Quick pass, and he's going to run backwards. See if they'll give him the forward progress, and they will not. Third down and two for the Bengals. They are one for six tonight on third downs. Play action. Oh, some weird wiggle animation. Feels really bad. Oh my goodness, that animation that I had on William was just terrible. Great five catches, 67 yards for the receiver. One on one, Joseph Lozano gets beats for the touchdown for the Bengals. Back of quarterback comes in and just leads a really nice touchdown drive for Idaho State. Bengals closing the gap. Can they make the comeback? You never know. Wow. That is one of the worst misses I've ever seen. Unbelievable. And they're going for an onside kick. Okay, Tom Schaefer on the kick return and a nice little spin move up to the 21. Let's go. I'm actually going to put the freshman half back in now. This will be Lozano's final carry of the ball game. And Lozano's going to get a yard. Let's see what the young freshman halfback, Kanji Jones, number 36, can do. And there goes Jones. He's fast. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the block? Kanji Jones, his first career carry is a touchdown. Unbelievable 78-yard run by the freshman. The blocking downfield was ph just phenomenal. Look at this block from Malik Higgins. Oh my goodness, the safety, the safety did not stand a chance. Sit down. Get him out of here, coach. Kanji Jones to the house. Welcome to college football, freshman. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's up, man? Six twenty-five. Marvin, you missed a good game on the previous screen. This one was good for the first half. My goodness. What a game. Oh my, Ralph William with a forced fumble is recovered by Harris. <laughs> oh man. Who set a record, Jay? Tell me more. And that poor receiver. Oh, 
Jones back in at halfback. First down and 10 for Cal Poly. And Jones explodes again. Look out. Jones inside the 15-yard line. Oh, my goodness gracious. Unbelievable. That's the most points Cal Poly scored in the series. Is that what you're saying, Jay? That's crazy. First and 10 from the 13-yard line. Jones still in there at halfback. And Jones gets rocked, but he picks up four. Second down, six. Nothing on that one. Third down for Cal Poly. Third and seven to be exact. Mustangs two of five on third downs in the game. And Higgins wide open touchdown and runs over two defenders for good measure. Garen got rocked as well as he got rid of that ball. First 70 burger in Cal Poly history. Extra point up and good at 73 to 25. Listen, Tom, I'm, I'm driving the dagger deep, man. I am. Don't hate. Not a bad day for the first start for, oh my goodness, for DeAndre Guerin at quarterback. We need to get the quarterback. Let's get him. Let's do it. Quick pass overthrown. Just one sack for the Mustang defense on eight hurries, but four interceptions has been a huge difference in this game. Two for seven on third downs. Goal line set, tight end in the zone. Ralph William in the zone of free safety. And they are not going to get the first down, and that fumble is recovered by Joseph Lozano at the 25-yard line. Seventh turnover of the game for the Bengals, and that was Jay Washington who forced the fumble. Jones going to pick up three yards. Forget the pick, you got a forced fumble. I mean, an interception would be great. I'm just saying. Off his back foot, and touchdown, Malik Higgins! What a play, oh my goodness.
Off his back foot, too, I think. Yep, oh my goodness, and he had the strength to get it out there. Higgins goes up and makes the play. Are you doing any good with the Flyers? Oh, uh, you get playing time. You're the slot receiver. And that's the 80 burger, folks. 80 to 25. Bengals, just, just go home, man. Get him out of here, coach. Get him out of here. If not for the seven takeaways for the defense, I, I think this would be a much closer game. <laughs> I'm just saying. First half was really good. And then, you know, they died. And that's tackle for William. Eight-yard pickup for Mangum. Manning, seven touchdowns, no picks on the season. He's really good filling in for Bennett. Seven of eight, 104 yards and a touchdown in this game. Nice catch by Williams. Laid out for it. Demarius Lamache, Ralph William in the zone for the Mustang defense. And they're going to toss it out here. And Mangum's going to pick up Five yards, Washington on the stop. Uh-oh. Nice, nice stiff arm. William on the stop again. Mustangs over 300 yards rushing, just 35 for the Bengals. Garen, play of the game in his first career start. Six total touchdowns. Samuel, play of the game for the Bengals. He's one of their receivers. And that is somehow caught by Williams. Unreal. Jay Washington injured his elbow on the play. That is a feels bad. A big old bucket of feels bad. Deep shot right side, deflected away, almost picked off by Lewis. And Washington will return, just a bruised elbow. So that is that is good news for the Mustangs. Lamache in the zone at DN, Ralph William in the zone at free safety. And Manning's going to take off. And he is destroyed, and there's a forced fumble again for Ralph William, recovered by, guess who, Jones, the man that has two picks on the day. Outrageous. Reggie Jones up the middle, picks up. Five more yards to add his total for the game. Is that his third force fumble? Um, I, th I think it might be. Andy Jones, get into the outside, look out, and gets it up past the 30. Deep shot. Desmond Lewis has him beat, but it's overthrown. The wind is just insane in this game. Right. 
All right, one more play. Jones, what are you doing, my guy? And his first mistake of his career. Feels bad. 11 total turnovers in the game. 8 for Idaho State. And there's the sack. Demarius Lamache gets him. Final play of the game. And the pass is almost picked off by Barnes. That's going to do it, folks. Cal Poly wins it 80 to 25. The most points in Mustang history. 55-point victory. Huge performance by DeAndre Guerin in his first career start at quarterback for the Mustangs. Lozano played really well at halfback. The receiving core did well. Defense lights out. Eight takeaways. Over 600 yards of offense for Cal Poly. 314 on the ground. 298 through the air. Four touchdown passes for Garen. And over 14 minutes time of possession. Zero penalties in the ballgame. How often have we ever seen that? You impressed by Garen? Yeah, me too. He's, he's pretty good. Pretty darn good. He could throw it. He could run it. Stands tall in the pocket. 64% in the ballgame. Very nice. Long 48. He also had two touchdown runs. Kanji Jones, seven carries, 122 yards. And one touchdown. A 78-yarder on his first career carry. He'd love to see it. Lozano, two scores. And the fullback, Robert Allen, 16 yards. A couple first downs. Higgins, two touchdowns. Desmond Lewis, four for 125 yards, no scores. Dakota Edwards had a touchdown, though. So did Tom Schaefer, the long snapper. Yeah, love to see it. Stick around. We'll be taking a look at the nation after the game is over. Heisman watch list, the top 25 conference standings. Ralph William with 12 tackles in the game. Jay Washington at 6. Brad Jones at 5. 2 for loss, 2 picks. And a fumble recovery from his right outside linebacker spot. All right, five tackles for a loss for the defense. Two sacks, one for Lamache, one for Franklin. And four interceptions. And a bunch of deflections here. Six deflections for the defense. Two forced fumbles for Ralph William, one for Dakota Edwards, one for Jay Washington, one for Brad Jones. And four recoveries, one for Lozano. And Greg Ford also had one. And two touchdowns to the defense, Aaron Harris and Brad Jones. 11 of 11 extra points. Love to see that. 13 kickoffs, five touchbacks in a crazy wind game. Mason with a 54-yard punt that went out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. And we haven't had anything going for us on returns for any of our schools, really. Samuel, Marks, Burton, players of the game for Idaho State. Jones, Garen, and Ralph William for the Cal Poly Mustangs, who remain undefeated in Pac-10 play. And that is the end of week number nine. So let's go ahead and get that, get that all simulated. And then we'll take a look at all the fun stuff. Hope you guys have enjoyed this stream. If you have, please slap the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason of the FCS Dynasty. The link is in the description below, and Tom Schaefer also just posted it in the chat. Been a fast season. Yeah, well, I mean, it took me two weeks to do week nine, but, you know, things happen in life. Um, yes, I would definitely love to say if North Dakota State jumps up to number seven, okay. 
I'm pretty sure that's their highest ranking so far in this series. And I definitely got to save it first because if this game freezes, I will lose my mind. Takes forever to to save it. San Diego five and two still not ranked. Sacramento State is five and two as well. Okay, okay. And we'll be seeing Idaho State again in the fourth game of week ten. As San Diego will travel to take them on. I don't think anybody stands a chance against North Dakota State in the Fargo Dome. I feel bad for what's about to happen to Chattanooga. The Mox. All right, let's see. Come on, save that profile. Come on now. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at week 10. Chattanooga at North Dakota State, who is ranked seventh in the country now. Dayton hosting the Western Illinois Leathernecks in Big Ten play. Flies, of course, 7-0 on the season. UC Davis at Sacramento State. That is going to be a fun matchup. I can't wait for that one. Aggies having a really hard time throwing the football this season. Turnover differential is terrible. Uh, they're, they're just having a rough go of it. San Diego at Idaho State in Pocatello, Idaho. Should be fun. Eastern Washington travels to take on Southern Utah, who jumped up to the number 11 spot after their victory over Northern Arizona in Week 9. VMI will be hosting the Nichols State Colonels, who are 3-4 and four on the season. VMI, of course, 8-0, and oh, riding a 19-game winning streak, the longest in FCS history. Bethune-Cookman at Savannah State, they are 5-3 and three on the season. Uh, they have no shot at the national championship game this season. And this is an ACC game. It's going to be tough. Savannah State on a two-game losing streak. First time ever. So many weapons, but just haven't been able to use them correctly this season. Cal Poly, number six in the country, hosting Northern Colorado. That is going to be a fun game. Mustangs undefeated in conference play. So watch out for that game. South Dakota State at Tennessee Tech. And Tennessee Tech is 5-2, and two, as well as South Dakota State, so that should be another good one. A lot of good matchups here in Week 10 uh, until you get to the Bryant and Hampton game. Of course, now that I say that and talk some trash, the Pirates will probably end up winning because that's just how the season's gone. Bryant in the top 30 for everything. And that is it for Week 10 games, guys. Take a look at the Sports Illustrated. There's Cam Sanders on the cover. Conference clash. Sanders' play leads VMI to a 63-23 win over South Dakota State. I don't think anyone's going to stop the Cadets this season. I really don't. Bowl rankings. Yeah, we don't care about that. Broncos give Nevada their first loss. Okay. So the top four schools are all undefeated. Jacksonville stays strong at number five. Cal Poly moves up one spot. So does North Dakota State. Grambling State up to number eight. You love to see that. They are undefeated in the SEC. Oh, my goodness. Look at these three scores right here. 91-52, 80-25, 80-14. Wow. And Bryant, after their win over uh, Savannah State, moves up to the number nine spot. They still have a shot at the title. Buffalo at 10. Southern Utah at 11. South Dakota State drops to 12th. And their shot at a national championship is probably over. Norfolk State at 13. San Jose State, Fresno State, Savannah State. UC Davis moves up three spots. The Penguins at 18. Northern Colorado at 19. Rice, they lost to UTEP, so they dropped eight spots to 20th. FAU, 7-0 on the season. They're on two-year probation, though. Feels bad. Central Michigan at 22, Nevada at 23, Boise State at 24, and Southern, the Jaguars, at number 25. So the SEC with a handful of teams in here, I like it. 
Looks nice. And let's take a look at the Heisman watch. Rolling along. Hops has made defenses look silly all year, throwing for 1,607 yards and 22 touchdowns. And there is no movement in the Heisman race. So Zoomer Speed still number one, 28 touchdowns on offense. Michael Hines, number two, he's got 38 total touchdowns. And nearly 1,000 rushing yards already for him. And he's closing in on 2,000 yards passing. Hops has over 2,000 total yards, 31 total touchdowns. Gurley at number four. He's got 19 touchdowns on the season. I don't think he's got a shot anymore. Cam Sanders, 21 touchdowns, 1,000 yards rushing. I'm pretty sure this is going to come down to Zoomer Speed and Michael Hines. So we're going to see uh, a Heisman race without MJ Gator Jr., Brandon Allen, and Mr. Highlight for the first time in FCS Series history. So, But I'm pretty sure it's just a two-man race at this point. I mean, Hops is close. But Hines has seven more touchdowns than him. He's got more passing yards. He's got more rushing yards. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Maybe a three man race, but I, I say it's just between Zoomer Speed and Michael Hines at this point. All right, let's take a look at the conference standings, folks. Let's do it. If it'll load, is it gonna load? I think it froze, guys. It's not moving. You can hear me moving it, right? It's a good thing I saved it, huh? All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to just post a screenshot of the Pac-10, because that's really all we care about. I'm going to post a screenshot of the Pac-10 standings um, in the Discord for all you guys to see, since apparently the game wants to freeze right there. But I'm so happy that I saved it. <laughs> that's going to be the end of this stream, guys. Uh, until next time, take it easy, guys.